Several local community service organizations are teaming up this weekend to provide Macon youth and their families with a fun day geared towards self-improvement. Clarence Thomas from Helping Hands Community Outreach joins us now to tell us about this year's Helping Hands Helping People Youth and Family event. Good morning. Good morning. So, Mr. Thomas, tell us a little bit about what this day is all about. Yeah, uh, Helping Hands Helping People is all about um, uh, a collective of organizations um, coming together to present a positive, safe venue for uh, youth 10 to uh, 25 years old um, to come in and uh, interact with you know, various professionals from varying backgrounds during panel discussions, um, also to uh, allow them you know, to speak their mind, to have their say. Um, so often, you know, teenagers keep things bottled up or they talk amongst themselves. Um, and so often, you know, we find ourselves talking at them more so than to them. And so as a result, um, Helping Hands Community Outreach decided uh, last year, last summer, to begin doing uh, these things annually. This is the second one, and um, it's taking place this coming Saturday, November the 23rd. It's a free event over um, at uh, Memorial Gym. Um, our partner in the effort from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. And what are some of the other organizations that are working with you guys on this? Yeah, um, of course we have uh, Stop the Violence, Start the Music. Uh, we also have Spirit of Ruth Women's Ministry. And we also have our long-standing friends uh, in a lot of things that we do, Saving Our Sisters Network of Middle Georgia. And you kind of touched on this earlier, but elaborate a little bit more. Why was it important for you guys and all these other organizations to come together to put on a day like this? Yeah, well, you know, uh, youngsters uh, today, especially in that age group, uh, are facing a, a lot of challenges, a lot of, a lot of issues. Um, everything from uh, school dropout in the case of teenagers to, uh, you know, uh, re recidivism uh, in youth detention centers to illiteracy uh, to bullying. A lot of children, especially in middle school, are facing bullying issues. And so uh, Phyllis Habersham Malone, the owner of Habersham Records and Tapes, uh, and Reverend Leroy Reeves of Center Hill Baptist Church decided to get together and create this organization, Helping Hands Community Outreach, about two or three years ago uh, for the express purpose of helping youngsters. Um, uh, at that time, there was a, a huge amount of violence taking place amongst teenagers in the Unionville community right and around where they, they work and, uh, and, uh, and, and, they, and they preside. So um, it was born out of that, and um, this is the second annual one, and uh, we're looking forward to doing it. We, we, we have a great you know, day planned for them, including free food, uh, some great entertainment, and of course celebrity panelists uh, to include politicians, business people, and, and others taking place at 11.30, 12.30, and 1.30 on this coming Saturday. So a lot of good opportunities for, for the youth to, to talk and learn and, and reach out to these, to these leaders in our area. Absolutely, because the uh, youth are our future. And so uh, we must invest in them in order to uh, ensure that the future is bright. All right, sounds great. Thank you so much, Mr. Thomas. Thank you. Sounds like it's going to be a great day. Again, the Helping Hands Helping People Youth and Family Day is this Saturday at Memorial Park Gym from 11 to 3.